Hi, I'm Rebecca Friedman. Hello, I am Christine Kelly Sanchez. I am the Associate Director of the Miami, Florida European Union Center at Florida International University. Um, I direct the European Union Center here at FIU, and the EU Center is a joint project with the University of Miami. And we together are one of 10 centers around the country um, awarded a grant from the European Commission to um, spread information about Europe within our region. So our mission is threefold. We do research at the universities, we teach about the European Union, and then we also work extensively with the whole Miami and South Florida community. Yes, we are really uh, lucky to be in Miami. And in fact, we have uh, in our program something very important. It has been five years, in fact, that we are the recruiter and organize, uh, organizer uh, in Florida for a competition. The name is a Euro Challenge competition, and we have to organize and recruit uh, around 15 schools each year um, from Miami-Dade, Broward, St. Lucie, uh, Palm Beach. Uh, and after they compete nationally to New York and so we are really proud of this uh, project. This year we had 12 schools uh, and three of them are going to compete nationally in New York the 30th of April. So we are really congratulate them. It's, it's a great, uh, great program. Okay, right now we're very excited and looking forward to the 9th of May which is Europe Day. And Europe Day, May 9th, is a very important day for us at the center. Um, we, in fact, now have Europe Week, where we have all kinds of programs where we celebrate Europe, um, where we invite our students to come, our prof other professors to come, and also for the community to come. Um, so we can list for you now a whole bunch of activities that we have going on in collaboration, like I said before, with the University of Miami. Um, the first thing that we have is a whole week of short films. Um, this is a program we're doing in conjunction with the Euro Channel, and they are 27 or more um, short European films that we will be showing throughout the week here at FIU. Um, is there anything else it's to say about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. It's important because it's going to be the first time that you are doing uh, the, this event. And in fact, it has been asked by the Youth Channel and the delegation in Washington, D.C. to organize this event in all the European centers uh, in the States. So we have one week. It's very short because there are 54, in fact, 54 uh, uh, films. And we would try to pass 27, the 27 European countries, with short films, uh, which uh, will be screened between 5 to 13, 20 minutes, uh, from Latvia to uh, uh, France. Uh, important Italy, Spain, Germany, and this is innovative, uh, uh, innovative directors. So we're happy to, to do that in uh, collaboration with Euro Channel this year. So we be, we begin the seventh, the seventh of May, uh, to the eleventh. So for her, the ninth of May begin the seventh for the <laughs> European Week, yeah. and uh, otherwise the ninth. So we continue. Exactly. Well. And so on the 9th of May, we have a number of activities going on as well. Um, we have, first of all, starting bright and early in the morning at 9 a.m., we have a journalist breakfast seminar um, called Immigration in the U.S. and Europe. And this we do with um, my colleague Joaquin Roy at the University of Miami. We also are doing this in collaboration with the um, Association of Hispanic Journalists. So this is part of the project to connect Latin America and Europe, which is one of our main um, functions at the center. We work with Pedro Gonzalez, who is the president um, of the Association of Hispanic Journalists, and we are lucky enough to bring from Los Angeles here to Miami Pilar Marrero, who is a columnist for the um, Los Angeles Times. She's an opinion columnist. Um, and we also will have with us that day a professor of journalism from the University of Miami and also, like I said, my colleague Joaquin Roy. And so we will have a breakfast discussion from 9 to 11 about the Hispanic media and Europe and the EU. Um, and we've done this before. This is the second year we've done this. So that's the first event for the mm -hmm. 9th of May yeah. we're looking forward to. And after we continue. This. And we after continue. that we continue. 
with the afternoon, in fact, from 2 to 5.30, and it's a very important for us because each year, it has been, I would say, five years that we are doing that, we recognize our students, undergraduate, graduate students, who obtain their certificate in European Studies. So this year, for every semester, we do that, but the 9th of May is particularly uh, very important for, for them because they have a recognition uh, for their programs, European Studies, and this year we have 10 students, and this this is different field, international relations, politics, uh, English, literature, and for the first time we are going to give the certificate to a graduate student mm -hmm. for the European Studies graduate uh, program that we just uh, opened in, uh, in September. Exactly. So this is uh, it's great. So we will continue after with uh, some students of the high schools too, to recognize them, uh, the one who participate in the Euro Challenge competition. To, to help them, of course, we are really happy uh, about that. And after, we will continue with uh, a film, if you can mm -hmm. say so, some word about it, it's, it's great. It's uh, Nous nous sommes tant haï, uh, the film that we are going to, to have, uh, um, How We Hate Each Others, and this is uh, a fiction, I would say, uh, a film, uh, just a luncheon of the European Union. Mm -hmm. It's about the founding, yeah. exactly. And one more thing I would add to the recognition awards as I can tell you because I just came back from my class with all of many of the students who will receive this award and they were all very very excited and wanted to know all about it and really look forward to it because it's the culmination of their whole program of studying Europe over the course of their undergraduate career and then for our first student as a graduate student so I think for them it's a very proud moment they bring their parents often so it's a very nice event and the last thing, it is a delegational, in fact, and uh, mm -hmm. the delegation always asks us during the 9th of May to go to high schools and uh, to make a presentation on Europe. So this is what we are going to do during all week long. Uh, we will go to uh, public schools and private schools and make some presentation with some uh, important people, uh, professors, but as well people from uh, uh, consulate too. So it's a big, big program during one week. We are ready. <laughs> yes, we are. And it really is the kind of culmination of what all of our work here is at the EU Center um, here at FIU. Because all year long we work to engage with our students, engage with our community and our colleagues to teach them all about the EU um, and also about Europe more broadly. So the 9th of May really becomes the culminating event. And Christine and I are already busily thinking about next mm -hmm. year and all yeah. of the programming that we'll be doing then. So we look forward to you joining us. Yeah.